that I'm standing here before you this night is a huge risk. I was banished from this land by the king. And I know that his warriors will kill me if they set their eyes on me. But it has become imperative that I come back to this land, my land. It is right to say that the land is passing through a time of desolation and I'm only here to ask just one question. What is our crime? What is our sin? You are the Ani of Nanko, and there is nothing we can do without you. I know that I will die someday, but not in exile. I will surely return to the land of my birth. But I do not want to return to a land without inhabitants. What do we do? This land is in ruins because men of this land are not asking questions. I, I am sure it is the voice of the gods I hear. I submit myself to the supremacy of the gods. Please, tell me those questions that our men are not asking. Please. You have been banished from this land. That I know. You were back in this land because you were worried. Do not be in a hurry to leave this land. Sleep in this land. And before the cock crows at dawn, you will know what to say. And then what you must do will be clear to you. I just passed here now and I didn't see anybody standing here. Who are you please and how did you know my name and my daughter's name? My, my name, name is Ogoyo. I, I came here today, today to ask you just one question. question. For, For how, how long, long are you going, going to stay? Omoma Awaru of Nanko Kingdom. I, I have not heard that name before and I'm sure we've not met. When, when people, people look into the mirror, they see themselves. themselves. It's, it's time, time is coming in now when, when men will look into the mirror and they see strange things. You, you are, are a woman that sits in the position of authority. Do something, something about this fast. Your, your husband may be confused. And when that man is confused, you are finished. No, no. I actually think you're giving me a message meant for somebody. Are you by any means telling me I don't, don't know you? Eh, you might know me. In fact, you know me because you just called my name and my daughter's name. But there's something you said that is not true. You just called me a woman in authority and I'm not. Gugu Ibo has deceived you once. Start in time to do something so that, that when next I visit you again, again it will be a happy meeting. Don't, Don't allow, allow me to get, get angry with you. Because, because if I get angry with you, you will be in What is the matter with you? I, 
I had a nightmare. I saw a spirit. She disappeared before me. Spirit? Did, did the spirit say anything to you? Uh, she's a very beautiful woman. Dressed like an Asian queen. She introduced herself to me as Ugebo Yibo. The Omuma Waru of Namco Kingdom. It is clear to me that you are not human. Identify yourself. Do you, Do you know, know the, the difference, difference between yesterday, yesterday and tomorrow? I am a hunter of now. I will never be intimidated by any spirit that refuses to identify herself. I am the goddess of the stream of Nawa. How dare you attempt to walk out of me? You know my name? What do you want? I am the goddess of the stream of Nawa. And I am here to tell you that tomorrow is going to be bright in Nawa. But you may summon courage to heal the wounds of yesterday. What do you mean by heal the wounds of yesterday? I, I see you. I see you. I see you. This is the cause of the world. You may be just a hunter, but you have something big to do with the world. I want to be very sincere. If you men do nothing, tomorrow is going to be very black. And when this happens, you must step out and set up the Don't allow me to get back. Do something now. And what would you want us to do? The day, the day is coming in your mercy when, when you shall see me. Follow me close as you say, and, and I, I shall, shall take you to the man you seek. Is it? Is there something you're not telling me? Have you heard of her before? What you saw was not a spirit. No, no. She was a spirit. If she wasn't, she would not vanish before me. She disappeared. She disappeared. I didn't see her again. Ukogbe Oibo is a goddess of the scream of Nagwa. Goddess? What does a goddess want from me? Do you know the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? M my husband, this question is really weird. I don't understand. What I will ask you to do is to go back to bed. Sleep. A lot of things are wrong in Nakwa. But it is clear to me that the gods and the goddesses I attempted to solve the problem. But, but how does that concern me? She also said that those of us that sit in position of authority must do something. She said I would not like it if she gets angry with me. I don't understand. How do I come in? What does she want from me? I will make a quest to you now. Go back to sleep. Indeed, tomorrow will surely be bigger than today and yesterday. Go to sleep. Hey, that's of Nampo. I have not slept for weeks. My heart is tearing into two. And that is why I call the elders that sit in council with me. For us to know and decide the way forward. Prosperity has been banished from this land. And I ask myself again and again, why is it happening during my time? 
Why? <laughs> Igwe, the three clans that represent Nankwa Kingdom are all here. I am the head of my clan. Irunze here is the head of his clan. Nebolisa here is the head of his clan. Igwe, do not bother yourself. Do not worry. We have sent for Oba, the soothsayer, to come here and tell us why prosperity has been banished from Nankwa Kingdom. Is it Yoguna? Igwe. Are you aware of the information that got to me this morning? No, Igwe. You don't know? A woman of this kingdom died on her way back from Akama, <laughs> where she has gone to buy yam and cocoa yam. Can somebody here with me imagine this scenario? A woman of Nampo, Nampo of all kingdoms. Could that be the reason why the gods killed her? I have never said that the gods killed her. I didn't say that. You didn't hear that from me. No, I didn't. What I am saying is that I am very, very angry. Why is it happening during my time? Why? Everybody is angry. People are in agony. I ask myself, have I committed any offense? Or did I inherit any cause from my father or any of my ancestors? Why is it that now that I sit as the king, prosperity has taken a leave from now for why? Hey. Um, in fact, let me let me start. Good. Stand. Uh, I have to stand because my heart is heavy. Very heavy. It is very heavy because of the situation we have found ourselves mm. in Nankwa. Uh, the way things are going, Igwe. We will be tempted to curse the gods. Uh, no. hmm? uh, but I am not saying we should curse the gods. Yes. Let us wait for Oba yes. to come here and tell us here and now why we are where we are. Okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. We wait for Oba. Uh -huh. The problem in Nankwa is that our men will not allow us to go out to other lands and make new friends. You are sounding as though you want to run away. If I have the means, I will do just that. Are we not wasting away? Nankwa is under a curse. And the prosperity has dried up. And the progress has taken a leave from here. Our men are only lusting after us. And none has the money to take a wife. Things are not just right. And every day that passes by, maidens of Nankwa are getting older. You are sounding more like a strange woman this afternoon. I will advise you not to allow any other person to hear this. Hmm. Hope you girls wait for me. Let me face so that we'll go home together. Hey, Ego. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. Hey. This is your necklace is fine. Who gave this to you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chine, why are you angry? I hope it does not have anything to do with your failed marriage proposal. What did he just say? Hmm. I can marry from any of the surrounding kingdoms, but can never marry from Akama, God forbid. What did you mean? We were talking about marriage before you came. Your friend here is angry because her father refused to allow her marry from Akama. If not for her father, she would have married a man from Akama. And you know what that means? <laughs> she has no class. <laughs> Hold it! Maidens of Nankwa must not fight themselves. The problem we have in Nankwa is grave. I came here because I knew I would meet some maidens here. You are afraid. I see fear in your faces. But the maidens of Nankwa must live above fear. Go to the palace and tell the king to meet me here. You mean you want us to go and fetch the king? I say it again. The problem we have in Nankwa is grace.
King Odera must meet me here. Wait, are you not the same Amade that has been troubling the land? No, you go and fetch him yourself. Mm -hmm. I do not want to believe that the madness has caught up with the maidens. A man of Nankwa has given a direct message to the maidens of Nankwa. It is a taboo for you to ignore my message. Now run. Run and fetch me the king! Awake, Hmm. What are you saying now, man? Igwe. Igwe. I am seeing things. Igwe. I see too many things. But everything is awkward and extremely unclear. Oh, but don't be silly. Oh, but you should you should not be silly before the king. You are the seer of Nanfo, and the elders in council came to the conclusion that you are the only one mm -hmm. that can solve a problem. That's why they sent for you and you are finally here. Yes. Why are you telling me that you are seeing things that are awkward and unclear? Settle down and do your work as the seer. Tell us the way forward. My eyes. Igwe, my eyes are seeing what my mouth cannot explain. How do we solve our problems? Huh? How do we solve them? We sent you here to come and tell us what our problems are. We are lost without you. Or by begin to see properly. Help us. There is only one man that can clearly explain what I am seeing. Yes. I see things, but I cannot explain them. We must send for this young man. He is the only one who can explain what my eyes see. Is it not clear that Oba is only parading himself as this year? He doesn't see anything. Oba, now who is that man that can see what you are seeing and you are not able to explain? Who is that man that can explain it for us? Because we need to send for that man immediately. Amadi! Amadi! Amadi is the only person who can see what I'm seeing and explain it clearly. Amadi has super gift of seeing. Uh, Ogba, Ogba, are you aware that this Amadi is in exile? Thank you. Are you aware that this Amadi was sent into exile because of his wickedness towards this kingdom? Piam. Huh? Oh, you now want us to go and fetch the man? Who was sent into an exile as an enemy of this kingdom to come and provide solutions to our problems? The solutions uh, to face. We are lost without him. We are lost without him. Oba. The, the solutions we face today shall remain until we fetch him. Oba. Oba. Are you the only one living in this kingdom who is ignorant of the fact? That Amadi was banished from this land because the elders in council concluded rightly that he is an enemy of this kingdom. Why are you finally sitting before the king as the seer of Nampo and you are advising us to go and bring the same man that is destroying this kingdom to come and solve the problem of this kingdom? How dare you make such suggestion before the king? Ow. I'm just a messenger of the gods. Yeah. I'm just following the voice of the gods. Why are you here? We met the man that troubles the land. He yes, said you should come to the village stream and see him. Mm. Stand up. Thank, Thank you, you, Igwe. You met the man that troubles the land? Yes, yes Igwe. Who is the man? Igwe is Amadi. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Mm. Did I hear you say Amadi? Yes, Igwe. Igwe 
They said you should come and see him at the stream. He sounded like someone who has a lot to say. How will I believe that Oba has no hand in this? How will I believe? Oba, how am I going to believe that we have no hand in this mission of the, of the maidens? Why on earth will Amadi ask me, the king of Nankwa, to come to the stream? Hey, that's in castle. Are you not seeing it? That Amadi is still nursing his age long ambition of overthrowing this king to be the king in this land? Is she a ruse? I take exception to that. People do not conspire before the king. Igwe, we are not conspiring. Oh. <laughs> Why should we? We are only discussing the way forward. Uh, I want us to tread with caution as far as this issue is concerned. I want to understand what you mean by caution. Igwe, any problem that is bigger than Namco hmm. is bigger than the throne. And what do you mean by that? We see for yourself. Isutseya here says Amadi is the only one that has the solution to our problem. Mm -hmm. He has not finished. The maidens are here saying that the same Amadi wants to see the Igwe at the village stream. Ah, we see for yourself now. Let us go. Let us go there and see him. Yeah. Whatever it is. Igwe, I found us one I I found us as Igwe. Hmm. Oh God, oh God, Simba. I sent the maidens to get King Odera. I did not send for the elders. Who gave you the permission to come into this kingdom? Amadi? If only you can humble yourself, King Odera, I will tell you what the ancestors said. The ancestors of Nankwa cannot speak to the man who is in exile. Your Majesty, it is always good for one to glorify the egos when one sees one. Because he never can tell when next you're going to see another. Our children yet unborn will never forgive us if we fail to remedy this abnormality. Men of Nankwa are not cowards. We must avoid to behave like cowards. Why is it that every time you are talking about war, talking of war, huh? we don't need war. What we need is peace. Can you define peace? What do you know about peace? When I was a child, I usually go to that farmland with my father. But today, the coarse people of Uroji are claiming that land. And here you are, telling us about peace. Go to war with the people of Uroji. Eh? Mguano. Ozogulu, my brother, you've spoken well. And for you also, there is how you reason at times. That makes me wonder if you are a man of this Nankwa. Onogolu! Onogolu, you and your brother should stop insulting me. Since fought with, don't try it again. Don't dare me again. What do you consider as insult? Eh? Men of Nankwa, it is only a coward that would think that war would last forever. The people of Akama are claiming our land from the north. 
And also the people of Uroji are claiming our land from the south. What then are we saying? Should we fold our arms and watch them take our land from us? No. The noblemen of this kingdom, if nothing is done, you wake up one morning and see Nanko under the blind king of Uroji. So, what I am suggesting now is war. Let us confront them once again with war. Men of Nanko, I want to make my point. If this meeting ends now, with the impression that I am a weakling who is afraid of war, then this meeting is unfair to me. I want us to know that I am not afraid of war. I fought at Nsube. I fought at Ibaji. I fought at Okija. I want to let you know that I have seen more wars than all of you. But as a rainmaker, I am supposed to be a preacher of peace and preach peace all the time. Let us seek peace. Enough of that, won't you? What we are discussing here has nothing to do with red making. It has a lot, more than a lot to do with it. Red making is talking about water. Water signifies peace. What has no enemies? Let us seek peace. Because I know that progress and prosperity only come with peace. My advice is that we send emissaries to the people of Uruaji to let them know how we feel. Let us stay away from war. I rest my case. Um, it seems the house is divided into two. Mosu seems to be alone in his doctrine of peace. Others are clamoring for wars. <laughs> I would like to stand in between. I support those who are clamoring for wars. And at the same time, I support Mosu concerning his doctrine of peace. Regarding the men of Uruji, we will not allow them to undermine our military might. What have you just done? You said nothing. You ended up saying nothing. This is one thing I hate with men of your clan. They will always want to speak and end up saying rubbish. Hold on. Are you crazy? Make no reference to my clan any longer. And if I make reference to your clan, what are you going to do? Yeah, I will Stop. do what exactly Stop. what I did to your father. Remember what happened to your house in the wilderness? What happened to your bank of yams? You recall? Stop it. Stop it. Don't tell me. This is just the beginning. There is something I want us to understand. And what could that be? In every generation, there must be men who will always stand out to fight for that generation. It will be a dent on the men of our generation if we allow the cost people of Uroji to take control of our farmland. I am a man of war. I am not afraid of war. But the problem now is how can we get the leader of the warriors to come for war? Are you saying the leader of warriors will be against the call? I don't know what he's going to do. But we need to understand that we cannot go to war without the leader of the warriors. You know what, Abaka? Leave me to handle the leader of warriors. If he fails to make the call, I'll personally force him to make the call. Why are we all talking like kids? Ozogolo here is the one talking like a kid. How can he say that the warriors can go to war without their leader? How can? You know what? I want us to close this topic for now. Let us retire back to our hut and sleep over this particular issue. And I want us to meet first thing tomorrow morning, before the heat of the day, after our morning food. We shall be going to see the head of the warriors. Don't worry, I will do the talking myself. 
and I know what to tell him. Also, Golo, men that are men move after their cause. Learn to move after your God. Because if you move before your God, you are a dead man. I will never be tired of saying the same thing. There is no need for any war. And there is nothing anybody will say that will make me support any form of war. The best thing we can do is to send emissaries to Uruaji people. Men of Uruaji are arrogant, quite all right. But we can't go to war. If we accord them that courtesy of sending emissaries to them, there is a way it weakens them. I am a rainmaker. And I know that prosperity and progress come with rain. Also, I am equally against war. But we will never be afraid of war. Honestly. Show me a kingdom that is afraid of war. I will show you a kingdom whose men and women are in perpetual bondage to their neighbors. Whoever makes peaceful negotiation impossible makes war inevitable. We shall go to war if necessary. But as you rightly pointed out, we shall be very cautious. We shall be very cautious. We must not go to war against Uruaji people. Why? If we go to war against them, our ancestors will rise up against us and fight for them. No, no let's not go to that direction. Uh, let's not go to that direction. I think I'll be back when I return from Urometiti. Eh? I'll be back. America! America! Come. Yes, go and call your brother. Let me open your eyes before it is too late. Go and get him. I'm a remaker. I'm a remaker. Remakers are peacemakers. Clean your ears very well and listen to me very attentively. By the gift of our ancestors, we are remakers. We did not learn it. My father inherited that stone from my grandfather. And I, in turn, inherited it from my father. And if I go the way of our ancestors, one of you must inherit the stone. We are rainmakers, and rainmakers are peacemakers. And there can hardly be progress or prosperity without peace. I warn you to keep away from all avoidable wars. Papa, mm. I don't understand. It seems as if there's a problem. Men of Namco are planning to go to war 
against the people of Uruaji over the Obaraba farmland. I called you here tonight as my sons to tell you that we have no right to wage any war against the people of Uruaji. Emenike and Wozo, if I sleep tonight and fail to wake up, remember that I have warned you over any war against Uruaji people. But Papa, you used to tell us that men that are men should never run away from wars. That's when the war is justified. We are not justified. We have no right to wage any form of war against the Uruaji people. And always remember that we owe our present day survivor to the people of Uruaji. So we cannot wage any war against them. Asagolo, I want to know the reason of your visits at this ungodly hour of the night. You're sounding as if you already know why I'm here. I don't know. War with Uraji people is very imminent. And I've come to tell you to get ready for war. Osogolu, I saw Onogolu telling other members to sleep over the matter. Osogolu, the meeting has been scheduled tomorrow morning after the morning food. Osogolu, you elected not to wait for any meeting. Osogolu, you elected to move faster than your colleagues. I have to ask you, Osogolu, why? Is there anything they can say tomorrow we can handle tonight? Our farmland is our land. We must rise and silence any kingdom that wants to encroach on that land. Osogolu, warmongers hardly emerge as the leader of warriors. What is the meaning of that statement of yours? The meaning of my statement, Osogolu, is that I am. Do you want to go for war here yeah, in our land, not you? And you will never be the one. I know your office. That is why I'm here this night. This war must commence before dusk tomorrow. We shall slaughter all the men of Uroji and seize their women. Enough, Ozogolu! Enough. Ozogolu, you are a warmonger. If you must know, I am the leader of the warriors. And I am not in a hurry to go for any war against Uroji people. I'm here to tell you immediately that your tenure as the leader of warrior is about to expire. <laughs> this war is imminent. <laughs> we, if you don't call this war, we'll call it ourselves. And when we begin to fight, we shall identify you as a man of Oroji. Osogolu. 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 How many times did I call you? Our people say, what an name I be meeting on my way. It's a kihami born of Hushin. Also, Golu, be warned. Are you talking to me? Those that roast the yam do not roast your fingers on the process. Also, Golu, go ahead and call for your war. Let's see what will happen. Also, Golu, leave my house. Also, Golu, leave. My house. The entire ancestors of Nankwa, I invite you to come. All the spirits that support peace, I invite you to come. And in Nankwa, I call you to come. Who gave away you, boy? I'm a man of Nanko. 
And all ye elders that should rise and condemn abominations, I call you to gather. A sacrilege is staring me on the face. Gather. And all you elders that can stand and condemn this sacrilege, I invite you to rise. See. The things we have not seen before cannot be seen in our time. It will not happen. Say, Ubi, hmm? you are welcome. No, I know. This sacrilege must never be. Never. Ubi, Amaka, Obal, Obal, Obal. I'm not even going to be here tonight, sir. What do you know for? Yes, <coughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Yes, I'm not mad. 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 I'm not Kessie refused to declare war on Uroji people. And then he killed my father because he stood for the truth. And he killed Mosu, the rainmaker of Nankwa, the greatest rainmaker of all times. A people must not murder their heroes. But your father murdered heroes of Nankwa. And I ask, how can we know this? Uh, Amadi, uh, I want to apologize on behalf of everybody. Yes. Iruze, sorry I'll have to interrupt you. I want to ask the king right here. Why did you banish me from my land? Look, uh, we cannot be adding pepe on top of injury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you see, anything can bite a man mm -hmm. in the night. Right. But for the purpose of peace and for this one we are here, yes. let's call everything mosquitoes. Mosquito. <laughs> <Yeah. All right. laughs> mm. So what do we do? What do we do? How do we heal this land? Even in the land, I see You banished me because I told you that your father was the root of the problem in Nankwa. I came back to Nankwa because I got the news that my people are wallowing in pain. Men and women cultivate every year with little or no result. We are seeing desolation and destruction of a kingdom that was once the envy of all kingdoms. Presently, nothing works in Nankwa. The prophecies of the Rainmaker have been fulfilled. But he was killed because he was trying to save the kingdom. I defied the security to sneak into the shrine of Aninankwa to pray last night. And the ancestors are angry that the elders are not asking questions. They spoke clearly to me. Why are you not asking questions, elders? Amadi. Oba is here. You can verify from Oba. Elders, we have been asking questions. Only today, we invited Oba the Suseya, the king and the elders in council, to ask him the way forward. He was actually speaking to us before the maidens bashed in on us to tell us that you are waiting. And what did you tell them, Oba? I was saying things. But I could not explain the things I was seeing. I want to ask you just one question, Igwe. Do men use lamps in the afternoon? No. The sons of Mosu left this kingdom with the rain-making stone. And as long as that stone remains in a distant land, Nankwa will never know peace. We shall never see that reign of progress and prosperity. Never. No, I'm at the U.S. You wait. 
you have a part to play in all this. Only today, Oba told us that he was seeing things. He was unable to explain the things he was seeing. And he was emphatic. He said that you are the only one that could explain what he was seeing. And we were actually wondering where to get you before the maidens came to tell us that you are waiting here. You don't have to leave in a hurry. Because I believe you have something to do in all this. I want you to understand something. The order for your banishment is here withdrawn. Miigwe! You are now a free man of Namco. And you can freely come with us to the palace for us to discuss the way forward. Miigwe! And I'm surprised that you're not bothered. Bothered? Why should I be bothered? My husband said I should not be bothered, so... Can you hear yourself talk? For God's sake, Chimwendu, you encountered a goddess. Manari, I encountered a goddess in my dream, not in real life. What do you want me to do? My dear, whether in your dream or, or real life, the truth is that you encountered a goddess and she have asked you to do something. Now I'm advising you as your friend. Do what she asks you to do before she unleashes her anger on you. Be kokwa. Please, oh. What do you want me to do? She appeared to me and told me that I am a woman in authority and I should use my position to do something in the, in the land. Look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Am I a woman in authority? Eh? I have a feeling that I want to dare the goddess. Dare the gods? I cannot dare the gods now. Who am I? Who am I to dare the gods? Listen, I actually called you here to tell you this because I don't know what to do. If you have any advice for me, give me now. Chimwendi, if the goddess say that a woman in authority, then grab that position and throw the meeting of all the women. Simple. Eh? <laughs> me. Chimwendu, call a meeting of all the women. Who am I to do that? Would they even listen to me? Mikokwa, listen to me, my dear. Don't underestimate the ways of the gods and goddesses. Start something first and let's see how it goes. You know I'm your friend, I cannot deceive you. Start something, okay? We must send a search party of four men in search of the sons of the greatest rainmaker of all times. One must be a hunter, the other a praise singer, and then a wrestler and a soothsayer. Namkwa will never see that reign of prosperity if the sons of Mosu do not return willingly with the stone. Amadia, I want to seek for an important clarification. These men that we must send on this mission that you are telling us about, must they come from Namco? Strangers cannot embark on this mission. They must be men of Namco. Eras and Kansu, Igwe, he has created an opening for the possible solution to the problem we face. Now I want to ask us, where do we get these men that we can send on this mission? Your Majesty, I don't think we are going to rush this election. With all due respect, Oba, there is no time. Ugebo Ibo, the great goddess of the stream of Namkwa has started to appear to people. And that is because she is no longer comfortable with the condition of Namkwa. Omoma Waro is a beautiful goddess, but she can be deadly if taken for granted. We must get these men urgently. I, 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 I sincerely understand the urgency of this, uh, this, this issue. But I, 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 I want to ask you something. About it. Must it happen today? I am afraid, Your Majesty. But we cannot wait for another day. 
it must happen today. And they must leave immediately. The others are trying to resolve on the men that we are going to send. Exactly. Exactly. Igwe, Igwe, I greet you. Igwe, I greet you. Mm. Uh, Igwe. The elders have resolved on the first three men that will go on this very important journey. We have gotten the hunter. We have gotten the wrestler. We have gotten the praise singer. Uh, but Igwe. It, it is very difficult for us to get the fourth person, the fourth man, who happens to be the soothsayer. Mm -hmm. So the elders resolved that uh, Amadi here should uh, complement uh, the three men mm -hmm. and they represent the soothsayer. Yeah. Up here? Yes. <laughs> because he himself is the greatest seer, as we now see. Yes. <laughs> Amadi, the elders of our land are making a request. Elders of our land, I greet you all. Igwe, the invitation was very urgent, but to fulfill my father's order that I should never come before the throne empty-handed, I bring you this. Thank you. You may rise. I am very much impressed. What you did is in line with the saying of our land. He who respects and worships the king must surely one day live like the king. Thank you very much. your daughter closely and tell me what you see. Mama, what else do you want me to see now? I'm seeing my daughter. When you look at her closely, you will see the aura of royalty rotating around her. Mama, you said this morning, you said talking in those your funny manner. Which one is aura of royalty again? You have named her Ego. And I must say I like the name. But when she grows up, tell her that she reincarnated from the lineage of kings. And that she must carry herself as princess. <laughs> Mama, first of all, I do not believe in reincarnation. Secondly, Ego is a gift to me from God. Me, myself and I. She did not come from anywhere and she's not going anywhere. She's just mine and then my husband. That's all. So let's cancel anything about reincarnation. It's not about Ego. Anyway, this is not the time for me to educate you on some of the beliefs of our fathers. The only thing I must tell you is that your daughter came from the lineage of kings. And you must always refer to her as princess. Yes. Mama, she's always my princess. My princess. She has always been my princess. Eh? You're thinking. What are you thinking about? Ego, stand up. Walk up to that place and come back here. Why would you want me to do that? Go and do it for your mother. I want to see you. I want to admire you with the eyes of a mother. Okay. <laughs> no, go back. You do it again and again. 
you can just do it one more time. I hope you are impressed with you my work. My daughter, you're growing so fast. Anybody that walks in here now will think we are twin sisters. Mother. <laughs> hmm. You know what my mother told me? What? She said, you look like a princess. And you possess this aura of royalty. As you grow day by day, I'm beginning to see you as a potential princess. Princess? It's mother, let me tell you something. You know, during the time of Festival of Papanta, I encountered this masquerade that was calling me a princess. And I told him that I was never a princess. But the followers insisted that I should walk up to him. What happened? Yes. And I had no choice than to do that. What? Mother, I shook the hand of a masquerade. For the first time in my life, I shook a masquerade. Eh? Hey! We have not even finished. And they were singing to me as if I was truly a princess. I felt so embarrassed. Because I know who I am. I'm not a princess. They were singing for you. <laughs> Mother, I was so hey! embarrassed. And you did not tell me. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry. Hey, my daughter. This is very remarkable. It is only queens and princesses that are allowed to see the masquerade. Let alone shake his hands. Hey, my daughter. You should have told me. This is good news. Mother, look at who I am. I am not a princess. My mother told me something. What? She said you reincarnated from the lineage of kings. But I don't believe in reincarnation. I still don't believe in it till tomorrow. But no matter what happens, you will always be my princess. My special princess. Thank you, oh? mother. <laughs> and you're also beautiful. Mm, you're Very more beautiful, beautiful than your mother. <laughs> Hey, you're going big every day. Mother, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> oh men who are men always see it as a great honor when they are asked to represent their kingdom. We may not be the best, but the mere fact that the elders found us worthy to embark on this mission simply means that there is something we have that can be used for the improvement of this kingdom. I am not the eldest among us, but I have been entrusted with the leadership of this mission. I thank the gods. In the next two market days, two days representing the two eyes of the high flying eagle, we shall set out on this journey. The mission I know will be tough. We must understand that this mission must be accomplished if we hope to solve the problem in Nangwa. I want you all to prepare your minds. I'm, I'm not trying to shy away from this responsibility. My problem is that two days is too short for us to prepare for this journey. Why would you say that? I have this woman of Akama that I've been inviting to my place for the past three months now. But she had always refused. Just this afternoon, she, she told me in total confidence that she would be coming to me in the next three market days. So in other words, you are telling us that you are declining from this mission. A mission that will bring peace to our land. All because of a woman. Are you not the same person that has been urging me to get married? And I'm beginning to work towards it. I'm pleading that you should allow me to see this woman of Akama after her visit. Then I would be, I would be free. Now, Obeche, listen to me. I don't want you to provoke me with that your baseless reasoning. Nanko Kingdom is on the verge of collapse. And everyone has been praying for a solution. Now the solution is here. Obeche, you are now telling me that a woman from Akama is more important than Nanko Kingdom. 
or better are you out of your mind? I didn't say that. I, I just want us to... Enough, Obeche. Enough. We already accepted before the elders that we will embark on this mission. Agozi is ready. Iberebu is ready. And I am ready. Do you want to back out now? Huh? Listen to me, Obeche. Do you want to tell me that you are ready to sacrifice the resurrection of this kingdom on the altar of immorality. Huh? We live in two market days. still planning to leave us. Are we still going back on this? Hmm? I thought we have resolved this matter. No! We have not resolved anything. Listen, I smell danger. I don't want you to go anywhere. Do you realize that I am a hunter? Have you? Listen, why would you want to dissuade me from doing something? Something that will bring changes to this land? When, when people, people look, look into, into the, the mirror, mirror, they see themselves. A time is coming now when they will look into the mirror and see strange things. You are a woman that sits in the position of authority. Do something about this fast. Your husband may be consumed. And one that man is consumed, you are finished. I know what the goddess told me. The king wants to destroy you. What we are doing has nothing to do with the king. Nothing! The elders in council have sent us an assurance for our brothers that left in the rain-making stone of Nagwa. It has nothing to do with the king. I know what my mother told me about the maidens of Abunde. She told me horrible things. Those maidens are a definition of horror. Did anyone tell you we are traveling in search of the maidens of Abunde? Who ever told you that? No. We are traveling to Omasenu. Yes, but you will definitely go through the forest of Abunde before you get to Omasenu. Hey, how will you now survive all those maidens of Abunde littered along that forest? How will you survive them? Okay, countless numbers of times I have encountered deadly animals in the tech forest. And I survived them. I survived them all. So what makes you think I can't survive the ordinary maidens? Ordinary. The maidens of Abunde are not ordinary. Those maidens have mystic powers. They can even make your manhood disappear. <sighs> so, my husband, please, just go back to the elders in council. Tell them, tell them you're not interested in this journey. Please, do this for me. Do this for our daughter. Well, I'm sorry I have to disappoint you. I remain a hunter, and the interest of this kingdom comes first. We are four men that are embarking on this journey to save our land. And I must go. We have brought you here to this boundary of Nangwa. And the reason is simple. To show you that we appreciate the fact that you are doing this for the good of the people of Nangwa. And also to assure you that we support you. Uh, and as we have supported you, our ancestors will support you. Sir. The Lord of the hills will support you. He said. The Lord of the mountains will support you. He said. Our ancestors will lead you 
peacefully and you shall return peacefully they say Nanko will know peace again yes so so shall it be he say he say he say i am happy that the elders of namco are here to see us off i believe that our journey will be a smooth one we shall go and we shall return with results i am also aware that ichio godo was meant to be here but he is not here and he explained his reasons to Obeche. Please, tell him that we understand. And we still hold him in high regards. So back around, come. If I blow, blow. Thank you, my elders. Eja na bisija. Eja na ya bisija. Eja na bisija. Eja na bisija. Men of Nanko. Elders of Nanko, I want you to do us a favor. If we do not return after eight market days, I want you to sacrifice an eagle for us at the shrine of an Ninanko. Uh, uh, Amadi, <laughs> where do you expect us to get an eagle from in uh, Nanko? There is surely an eagle in Nanko. I want the elders to find one and sacrifice it for us at the shrine of an Ninanko. This is important, and the elders must do it for us. Uh, what? Uh, what do we do? We go and uh, inform Igwe. Yes. <laughs> it's only an important <laughs> let, uh, let, let us. <gasps> Where's our F number? Chimwando, I will be very disappointed if you tell me that you don't want your husband to be part of those men that will save the kingdom. No. It's not that I'm against the trip. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just scared that my husband might not return alive. Eh? I'm scared. Last night I listened to the tank cry as he went round. And I felt so, so disappointed that my husband was not selected. Yes. Those men are going to be permanent heroes in Nanko. Don't you get it? Manari, there's something you're not thinking about too. What if they perish along that forest that leads to Omasilu? Eh? Chimwen, Chimwen, why are you reading negative meaning into this? Nothing will happen to them. <gasps> what is it? I, I came, came here, here today, today to warn you. I, I gave, gave you an assignment, assignment and, and you have not done anything, anything about it. About it. What are you looking at? I mean, what is the matter with you? Are you not seeing her? See, we are not seeing anybody. What is wrong with you? Men, Men of this kingdom, kingdom are embarking on a mission to save, save the land from the hand, hand of the wicked. Start, Start in time, time to, to do what, what you have, have to do. do. Your, Your husband, husband is already doing this. Don't allow me. Get to the point. Ah! What? What? What's wrong with you, Timon? What? What have I done? Eh? What does she want from me? What does she want from me? Hey, hey. Did you not see her? She was standing here. And you were even interfering in her speech. Hey! I don't know. This is serious. What did she say to me? What? <laughs> 
I am so happy that you came back this night to give me feedback after seeing all our men that are traveling to Maseno in search of the sons of Musu, the rainmaker. May I know what happened? Uh, Igwe, <laughs> we have uh, we have escorted them, and uh, as we speak, they have embarked on the journey. That's true. <laughs> so, did the Madi tell you when they are going to come back? Uh, Amadi didn't tell us exactly when they are going to come back, Igwe. But uh, Igwe, something happened. Something happened that uh, I don't know how to handle it. Wait for your there. Some men will say this kind of thing to me and I will begin to give it a second thought. That something came up and they are not able to handle it. I know you to be a different man entirely. In this kingdom you are a mighty man of valor. And there is surely nothing that will happen that you cannot handle. So may I know this thing that came up that you are not able to handle? Okay, Igwe. At the point of wishing them safe journey, mm. Amadi turned back and looked at us and said that if they do not come back after its market day, mm. market, mm -hmm. we should sacrifice an ego to an inanko. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the reason why I told us that I don't trust Amadi? I don't trust him. Why would you make a strange request from the king and elders and council? Why? Igwe, I would advise that we tread with caution. Amadi has become more than a seer now. He is now a mighty man of valor. And whatever he says, must be taken seriously mm. so that we can heal this land. Oba, I am not surprised that you are defending him. I'm not surprised at all. But I want to ask you an important question. If it so happened that after eight days they are not back, where are we going to get this ego that we are going to sacrifice? Do you have an ego? Your Majesty, the important thing is for us to agree that an ego will be sacrificed. Once we agree on this, an ego for sure must be found in Nanko. Oh, but understand one thing. I was born in this kingdom and I was raised by my father. He taught me on the customs, the traditions of this land. And I am aware that we do not sacrifice eagles to deities in Nanko. Why would it start now? Igwe, from the history of Nanko, we have never experienced such backwardness and poverty like we have. No. That is the problem. But it's worrisome. Mm. We have never sent our people in search of our own people in a strange land. And this is the first time it is happening. Our people say that strange development requires strange sacrifices. No. Exactly. We are all trying to explain offer different explanations but nobody seems to be answering the question i ask this question again if it so happened that after eight days amadi and his colleagues are not back in this kingdom where do we get this ego that we are going to sacrifice somebody should be able to answer that question if we, the most important thing is for us to accept that we will Sacrifice that ego. Then, in an ananko, ego must be found.
I apologize if I should know you. The truth remains that I don't know you. And I am not asking you to introduce yourself to the king and tell me what you are doing before the throne this night. My name is Chiwendu, your majesty. I am Ibenebu's wife. Is it the same Ibenebu that we sent with other men of this kingdom in search of the sons of Ngosu? Yes, your majesty. I am his wife. Are your parents from this kingdom? They are from this kingdom, your majesty. <laughs> you are a beautiful woman of this kingdom. Why is it that you have not been coming to the king? Why? Uh, please make yourself comfortable as you sit. I'm happy having you around. Um, thank you, your majesty. But I do not wish to be comfortable. Because our kingdom is going through a very terrible time. And that is the reason why we sent men of this kingdom, your husband inclusive, in search of the sons of Moshu that left the kingdom with the rain-making stone of this kingdom. We are very sure that they are going to find the sons of Moshu and they will come back to this kingdom with the rain-making stone and the kingdom will be good again. Ugebo Yibo, the goddess of the stream of Nanko, has appeared to me twice. Your Majesty. I can't believe this. Ugebo Yibo. Omoma Uwaru. Ezewa Yemwemini Nanampo. Has appeared to you twice. Why would she appear to you? Your Majesty, that is why I am here. I do not know why the goddess of Nanko should appear to me. I am not part of the politics of this kingdom. Eh? I am only how. I wouldn't want us to go into all that. Can you tell me exactly what she told you when she appeared to you? She said that those who sit in position of authority should take a decision on how to solve the problems or else... Or else what? Or else what? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'll have to take my leave. No, Shiwando, you don't have to leave like that. This is the very first time you are coming before the king and why are you in a hurry to leave? Your husband is not in this kingdom as we speak. You can take advantage of that leave and stay with the king. Stay with the king. Stay with the king. Your Majesty, please I do not understand. You have to explain what you mean, Your Majesty. The mere fact that you go boy you boy, Omuma Uwaru, as a one young William Lina now for, the mere fact that she appeared to you simply means you are a great woman. You are a woman with royal quality. And that is the reason why I want you to stay with the king. Don't ask me to explain what I mean by stay with the king because I know you know what it means to stay with the king. Decide here and now that we are going to stay with the king this night. And you can be sure of one thing. The poverty that is now ravaging this kingdom will not touch you. And I want you to understand something. That this is the king. And you should trust the king to keep secrets. Whatever thing that we are going to start this night will be a secret. Between us until we die. Do not, do not actually try to, to do anything because even as we are speaking now, can you say you know what your husband is doing with all the women of easy virtue that are littered along the road to Masienu? It is possible that your husband is actually doing something with one of these women and you cannot be left out. I want you to sit down so that we can start something tonight. You don't need to leave. Sit down. Why would she leave? She is a beautiful woman of my kingdom. Why have I not been seeing her all this while? And why is she not coming to the king? That kind of woman, it is only the kings 
that you stay with that kind of woman. Only the kings. Uh, I'm at the way. Sorry for asking you this question. My sister, do you know the exact mountain where they live? It is not good for us to talk while we walk. We will soon settle down to sleep. Then we can do all the talking we want. But to answer your question, the sons of Mwosu live beyond the mountains of the west. But don't panic. The lords of the hills and the mountains will surely lead us to where they live. Oberche, your status will increase right after this joining. And then you will no more desire the women of Akama. That woman that I found in Akama is better than all the women that I found before her. I can't continue searching. I already found the best. Please, let us concentrate on this journey and stop thinking and talking about women. Namkwa is boiling as the immorality is gradually commencing in high places. Let us concentrate on healing our land. I am the chief guard to the king. Why is the king not sleeping? Is it anything I can handle for the king? I'm at your service, Sonese. I have not managed to sleep. Sleep has vanished from my eyes. I am deeply troubled. Because I cannot understand this request by Amadi that we should make a sacrifice of an eagle to a deity as elevated as Adenampo. I don't understand what that means. I'm sorry, Onyezi. A mere guard like me is not in a position to discuss that subject. No, Maduka, you are wrong. The kingdom is up in flames and every single individual must be involved. I know your father before he died. He was a great man of this kingdom. Now tell me, Maduka, in all the times you had private discussions with your father, did he ever tell you that we do sacrifice egos to deities in Nampo? Not to talk of a deity as exalted as an Nampo. Did your father ever mention anything like that? Why would Amadi? appear from nowhere and is demanding that we sacrifice an ego to an enampo. Onyeze, if you permit me, tomorrow I will go and fetch Okekako. He is the son of Okekako, the last priest of an enampo. I think he should know the reason for that request. Why is it happening now? Why would anybody ask me to sacrifice an ego? What is the difference between left today and tomorrow? It is obvious you're not a friendly spirit. 
Identify yourself. I ask you a question which you have not answered. What is the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? I am a man of Nankwa. I am equal to anything. I fear nothing. I tell you again, identify yourself or I will declare war against you. We don't want any trouble, okay? You don't want trouble, why are you already in trouble? Who gave you the right to enter into my territory? This is Ubulu Kingdom. You cannot say it is your territory. I am Ubulu, the foundation ancestor of Ubulu land. You must not practice sorcery in my land. I have seers in Ubulu. If you need a seer to tell you what happened tomorrow, go to my seers in Ubulu. You shall see war if you attempt to inquire of the unknown in my land again. This is the first time I'm seeing a monster in my life face to face. It's alright. It's okay. Listen. I want you to know that distractions will come our way. But we will confront anything we see. The lords of the mountains will definitely see us through. So what are you suggesting? That we stay here? We move. Established that all of you are wonderful singers, and I am aware that your songs will always attract spirits. I came here this night to open your eyes. She came to open our eyes. What does that mean? Please explain your mission to us, because we can see who you are to in all the world. And I knew you present something new to the means of our leader. It's a new way you are here. When you see them, do realize that they are traveling with my blessing. Do not unleash your hostility on them. 
Let, Let it be in the making of sense. Do you, you want, want us to sing for some men? Who are these mothers? When, when you, you see them, you will know them. them. They, they are experts in all trends and sorcery. And, and I, I can, can tell you, they are equal to a lot of things. Do not be hostile, hostile to them, for they, they know what you know. They are my men. And, and I plead, plead with you, let, let it be a meeting, meeting of sons. Please, could you tell us your name? name? <laughs> I am Ugebe. Ugebe Oyo. The Omoa Waru of Nauwo. The goddess of the stream of Nauwo. And I plead with you, let it be a meeting for sons. Ugebe Oyo, please don't go. We the remaining of Papunde want to sing you a song. To go and fetch you is not back in this palace. How were you able to arrive before him? Simply means that that guard is a moron. For him to still be on the way and we arrive here before him. I'm okay, Kako. The owner of Aninamqua Kingdom. The one that is holding the most important asset of this kingdom. I know the kingdom inside out. How dare you? How dare you stand before me to say that you are the owner of Nampo? How dare you, Kokaku? You are a king. Yes, you are ruling because your father was a king before he died. And the corrupt elders of that time crowned you king the night your father died. What's your problem? What's your problem? But can allow me. Yes, Igwe Obudoye Delo, very soon, Obudoye Delo, and you will understand that you don't have. Blessings of the gods. Arrest this man. Ta! How dare you? You are meant to obey orders, no doubt. But you should learn how to obey reasonable orders. I'm the one holding the staff of an album. How can you raise your dirty hands up against me? Whose hands are you calling dirty? My hands? Or what? So you don't know? You don't know that you have dirtier hands than you can ever think of? Anyway, you, you have not said the reason you called me. Get out. Leave this palace immediately and in your life. Do not ever think of coming back to this palace. Now leave. I am not going to forget that, you know. But I still tell you, 
Obodoye Delo. One day, you shall need me. You shall need my assistance. And I will decide not to be available. I may be small in this kingdom from the look of the people. But I tell you, I am mightier than you think. Obodoye Delo. Get out! Obodoye Delo. Why is he daring me? Okay, Kaku, the son of Okay Kaku. I hate the maidens of Abunde. They are so annoying. These were the same maidens singing behind us before. Yeah. How did they get in front and how did they even get to know our names? Or better, their plan is to make us turn. And once we do that, our souls will be transferred immediately. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, do not turn. Men of Namqua must remain focused. <laughs> I'm the only one that's married here. The let me turn around and let him explain the meaning of that song. No, 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 no. Nobody does that. Huh? Do not turn around. Whatever they are seeing, whatever they are singing is rubbish. Total rubbish. The moment we turn around, we are dead. They are talking about my wife. Dead, dead. She's feeling fine. She's feeling fine. On top of the world. You sent me to go and bring Oke Kaku. I asked you to go and get Oke Kaku. Yes, you go. So where is Oke Kaku? I met him and his friend drinking at the village square. I delivered the message to him, but he refused to follow me. You delivered the message? Yes, you go. You go as, as I'm talking to you now, they're still there drinking. They're still drinking? Yes, you go. Are you listening to what this animal is saying to the king? They are still the drink. Now look at me. Go to the palace guard room and lock up yourself. I wouldn't want anybody to touch you. Go to the guard room and lock up yourself. If they give you water, do not drink. And if they serve you food in the gathering for your benefit, do not eat. Get out of this place! 
Did you, did, you, did you hear what that is? That, that, did you hear the, the, the rubbish? They are still there drink. They are still there drink. In all the years I was banished from Namkwa, I have come to know and understand the bushes and the forest. If you listen to me, this mission will be successful. You are the one in charge of this mission. If there is anything you want us to know that would bring contribution to this to the success of this mission, say it. We are listening. Good. We have come to the territory of Abunde. I'm sure you all must have heard of Abunde, but none of you has ever been here. Wait a minute. I want to get one thing straight here. Is this the same Abunde? Where women walk and marry the men, why the men would just be sitting at home? Eating and drinking. Same Abunde. I will also tell you that the women of Abunde are very beautiful. Yes. I also heard that the women of Abunde are wonderful singers. My mother told me that she once met a woman that sang for two complete days without stopping. I am not surprised. Women of Abunde are equal to anything. So I would like to know the reason for all these warnings. Apart from the things I have told you about them, I must also tell you this. They are evil. This is the month of their masquerade called Obakotazu. During this period, men are not supposed to look back. Women are exempted because they are the custodians of the masquerade. So I charge you as the one in charge of this mission. No matter what happens, do not look back. Women are the custodians of their masters. This town must be evil. I told you they are not normal people. Follow me as I walk. You will hear noises. You will hear lots of strange things. Dangerous things will happen behind you and around you. But no matter what happens, do not look back. But what happens if one does? You want to know what will happen? Yes. The soul of the person will be transferred to the shrine of Obakutazu. The corpse of the person will not be buried. Let us concentrate on this mission so that such fate will not befall any man of Nankwa. And like I said, do not look back. Follow me. that those who sit in position of authority should take a decision on how to solve the problems or else... Or else what? <laughs> Beautiful woman of my land. She left the presence of the king without answering the king. How am I going to get the beautiful woman of my land to ascend to the king? <laughs> to the king. The point now is that I don't even know what my offense is. Why would the king ask me to go and lock myself up? I was giving you a sign to shut up your mouth. But you didn't understand me. You are lying to the king. What do you mean by I'm lying to the king? How could you open your mouth and say that I'm blind to the king? You were asked to go and call the Kekak. And you went to somewhere else after delivering the message to them. Eh. So this is what you told the king, right? Eh? How could you be in the palace and know that I, I, went, I went somewhere else after I delivered the message to Kekak? I didn't tell the king anything. The person you were asked to call arrived at the palace before you. The king has already dismissed him before you came back. So how can you convince me? or any other person that you delivered the message and came back immediately. Look at it. Just take a look at yourself. Fooling around the king. You don't know that you're just an ordinary servant to the king. We just pray that you don't fall into trouble. Hey, give me oh, shut up! Ah, she was right. 
was driving. Ah. Finally, I've run into trouble. Yeah. Who is the she that was right? She she told me. Hey. Who is the she that was ah. right? The mere fact that you go boy you boy. Omuma waro. Eze mwa nyangwe limili na na mkwa. The mere fact that she appeared to you simply means you are a great woman. You are a woman with royal quality. And that is the reason why I wanted to stay with the king. Don't ask me to explain what I mean by stay with the king because I know you know what it means to stay with the king. Decide here and now that you are going to stay with the king this night and you can be sure of one thing. The poverty that is now ravaging this kingdom will not touch you. And I want you to understand something. That this is the king. And you should trust the king to keep secrets. Whatever thing that we are going to start this night will be a secret between us until we die. There is surely something that you are hiding from me. And I'm asking you now to tell me what it is. I finally confronted the king. And I now know why this kingdom is sinking every day. I'm lost. You confronted the king and now you know why the kingdom is sinking? What did he tell you? I mean, what do you know? When the head of a family wallows in immorality, the family suffers. When the head of a kingdom indulges in immorality, the kingdom comes to a standstill. That is what I know. That is what I found out. What you're saying here is very strong. And it can only mean one thing. You went to the king and caught him with a woman. So, who is the woman? Mm -hmm. I do not wish to discuss the king. But now I know why people of this land do not regard him as the king. Are you not going to at least tell me the foundation of your allegation? I mean, we are friends and you can always confide in me. I bow in greeting for the women of our land. <laughs> we bow in greetings too. So what do we owe the honor of this visit? The king has asked me to come and call you. The king sends for me? Yes. Why? You have the opportunity of coming with me to hear the king. I don't know his reason. Permit me to take my leave. The king is waiting. I don't know what you think, but I do not wish to see the king. Oh. How could you say a thing like that? Do you know what it means to be invited by the king? I'm advising you now to start going immediately. Manari, you don't understand. I don't understand what? I want you to open your mouth and tell me what I want to hear. What you want to hear? Do you realize you are standing before the king of this kingdom and that I can order your execution and it will be carried out immediately? Do you realize that? I put it to you, Dera. You are talking nonsense. Now, both of you, I order you to leave this palace this minute, or I am going to stab you to death. Mark my words, nothing will happen. Leave. Your problem is that you are a fool. Am I the one you are calling a fool to my face? Am I? 
as long as you refused to release the throne peacefully, we are going to retrieve it violently and you reduce to dust. Did you see me fall on the ground? No, I'm just returning from the message you sent me. I saw nothing, Your Majesty. Even in death, those evil men have continued their plan to overthrow me. Who are the people, Your Majesty? Where is the woman I asked you to go and bring for the king? Your gift was presented and your message delivered. I'm sure she will be here soon. I am going to shame those evil men. They have no right whatsoever to square up to the king. I am going to deal with them. I am the king. And I must always have my way. Why are we standing in one place? The evil maidens of Abunde have manifested. Like I told you, they are the custodians of the masquerade in this place. We cannot ignore them. But you said we can't turn. And I am still saying that we cannot turn. We must not turn. Whatever happens behind us, whatever we hear, whatever distraction, do not look back. I repeat, do not ever look back. Men of Namco, You have not impressed me as the king. She wonder why would you say a thing like that? 
I am your king. You should be happy that your king found you irresistible. You should be. Your Highness, I want to ask this question. Please, do you truly desire me? Yes. Do you truly want my body? Yes. The wife of a man that holds you in high esteem. The man of this land that, that has surrendered under your supremacy, your highness. Shimondo, the simple fact that I asked you to come into my room this afternoon and you agreed, it means you are standing. It means you are a great woman. And it means you are an obedient woman of Nampo. And that is the reason why I want us to get involved. This thing can happen between us this afternoon and nobody will know about it. In fact, I'll make you one promise. If you do this thing with me this afternoon, I will make you the leader of all the women in Nampo. You will be the one controlling all of them. <laughs> Your Highness. Even Ugebo Yibo has made me this offer. But it did not move me. Because that is not my problem, Your Highness. My problem is that this kingdom is going down and I want us to revive it. I want this kingdom to be prosperous again, Your Highness. I am not interested in politics. I don't want anything. I don't want, I don't want any position. I am happy being a housewife, Your Highness. What I really understand is that this wonderful promise I made now didn't move you. It did not move you. Yeah, but I, 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 are you trying to compare my promise with that of Ugaboibo? You shouldn't. Her promise is just from a goddess that if she decides not to fulfill the promise tomorrow, you won't even know where to see her, to hold her responsible. My own promise is different because I am going to cover my promise with Troya oath. I will put an oath in my own promise. Okay, let us forget about everything. You, you, what I'm saying, you don't like it. Tell me what you want me to do for you and I will do it. I want you to come, come into this bed. Please, tell me, tell me what you want, I will do it. Your Highness, I make you this promise today. I will not tell anybody about this discussion. Definitely, I know you are not a fool to tell anybody. I know you will not say it. But please, do this for me. Kill this lust inside of you, your highness, before you destroy this kingdom with your own hands. Please. Be cool, your highness. Please. Hey! Hey! Don't, 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 don't even think about it. What are you trying to do? You want to walk out on me? Do you know it is an abomination for anybody to walk out on the king? It, it, it can happen in other kingdoms. People will just be walking out on kings. Here in Nampo, it is a taboo. And why would you elect to inflict that kind of abomination on your head, walking out on the king, instead of doing what the king wants you, you want to walk out? Why? Your Highness, as we speak now, noble men of our land are traveling beyond evil lands and forests at the risk of their own lives only to salvage this kingdom from the ruins that has befallen it my husband is one of those noble men your highness i want to ask does it not bother you about their fate if they will survive if anything will befall them on the way if they will come back successfully why are you busy trying to trick a woman that sees you and looks up to you as a god? Why are you trying to trick me into sleeping with you, your highness? And now I know what the problem is. Look, is that why you have been resisting me? Because you see me as a god. I am not a god. I am a human being like you. Is it because I am king that you, you, you see me as a god? I am not god. My name is Odera. King Odera of Nampo. Normal man. That is normal things like you. Can we please come into this bed, please? Can we please? I am not God. Hi. Why is she running away? Why is she running away?
We must adhere to the warning of the goddess. The meeting must be in the sons. Our target is to make them turn. So their soul shall be transferred to the shrine of Wakutas. What is happening if they fail to turn? Do you think we can force them to turn? We must take a decision. If, if we, we try, try the option, option of songs and the devil, then we must apply the particles of fire and ice. I disagree with you. The, the goddess that, that spoke was very clear. clear. We, we cannot apply any particles, particles of violence here. I stand here in the forest of Abude, and I see immorality in Nango. The immorality is so strong that it will make the man to turn. I'm going to raise a song, a song of immorality. And I need to certainly make the man to turn. I hate the maidens of Abunde. They are so annoying. These were the same maidens singing behind us before. Yeah. How did they get in front and how did they even get to know our names? Well, better their plan is to make us turn. And once we do that, our souls will be transferred immediately. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, do not turn. Men of Namco must remain focused. <laughs> I'm the only one that's married here. The let me turn around and let him explain the meaning of that song. No, 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 no. Nobody does that. Huh? Do not turn around. Whatever they are seeing, whatever they are singing is rubbish. Total rubbish. The moment we turn around, we are dead. They are talking about my wife. Dead, dead. She's feeling fine. She's feeling fine. She's feeling fine. On top of the world. So what do I don't know why you will say it like that? The important thing here is that you have laid a solid foundation for yourself. And based on that alone, I can tell you that the time is coming in this kingdom. Where all the women of Namqua shall come to you and beg. <laughs> why would they come to me and beg? Very simple. You have stayed with the king. You have played with the king. And the king appreciates you. None of them ever stayed with the king. It means you have what they don't have. And I want you to understand something, Shimendo. I am going to make you very relevant in this kingdom. <laughs> I know why you're saying all this. Why? You're saying this because you think you got me easily. But I put it to you that you have not seen anything. I don't know why you will say that again. 
We spend the better part of this evidence playing here in my room secretly. I have seen everything. <laughs> I have felt everything. And do you think there is anything about you that I have not seen already? Read my lips. I like your lips. You have not seen anything. <laughs> Why would you say that beautiful woman of my kingdom? <laughs> my beautiful. Was that a dream? I thought I had something already. I practically saw you kissing the throne, Your Majesty. Now I order you to shut up! You saw what? Don't ever repeat this anywhere. If I hear this anywhere, you will regret the very day you were born. Get out! Igwe. You saw me kissing the throne. Idiot. She gave it to me in my dream. She must give it to me in real life. <laughs> Beautiful woman of my land. She must give it to me. Are you not going to tell me why he called you? Tell me whatever happened in the palace. I mean, we are friends and we shouldn't hide anything from each other. All I can say is, Nanko is under a curse. <laughs> but that is no news now. Everybody knows that Nanko is under a curse. That's why the elders sent the noble ambassadors to fetch the sons of Mosu the Rainmaker. Why are you talking as if you are new in this kingdom? See? I do not want to discuss the king. Alright? All I know is that Odera, who is now the king of Nanko, is not qualified to be king. What did he tell you? I mean, what happened in the palace? Please, I want to concentrate and think about my husband.
You are welcome. Thank you. You said you want to see me urgently. Is anything the matter? Could you please give me privacy? Igwe. Oba. You are the seer of Nampo. Many people may have different opinions on the efficacy of your powers. But as far as I am concerned, you are the seer of Nanko. And each time we are confused over any subject, we fall back on you. Thank you very much for your kind sentiments. I appreciate it. In the last couple of days, I mean, ever since we sent out our search party to go and fetch the sons of Muzu, the Remeka, I have been having series and series of dangerous dreams. I called you here to know what is going on. I see. I see an immoral dream. Is that what you call dangerous dreams? Immoral dreams. What do you mean by immoral dreams, Oba? You are the king. And it would be my pleasure to hear what you saw in your dreams. A okay. few days ago, I came out from my house to sit on this throne. And then I noticed that the throne has broken. I looked under the throne and lo and behold, Maggots have eaten the better part of the throne. I wasn't able to comprehend what that means. I was confused then. Then today, in one moment of nap, as I sat on this throne, I closed my eyes to sleep. I saw Ubi and Musu. The same men that my father killed for political insubordination attacked me violently with the sole aim of pushing me off this throne. I woke up again and I realized I was dreaming. And I called you here, Oba. What is the meaning of all these revelations? Hmm. Hmm. The search party we sent out is having hectic time along the forest of Abunde. Oba, I want you to talk about my throne. Why are you mentioning men that are working so hard for their reputations? Tell me about my throne. Tell me about my dream. Your dreams have a direct link to the mission. The men are not working for their reputations. They are working for the entire people of Nanko. Oba, could you please inquire about my throne? Because it is clear to me that the dreams and the revelations are all talking about this throne. I want you to leave Amadi and his group. Because as far as I'm concerned, those men are on their own. Tell me about my throne. If I should tell you the king, you are sitting on a stolen throne. How would you react? Stolen throne? What do you mean, stolen throne?
all the spirits of Nanko are accompanying the messengers we sent to face the sons of Mosu. I cannot say anything further without them. We must wait for them. And I repeat, we must wait for them. These men are there me. I am the king. And once a king, always a king. I am going to grind all of them to a halt. All of them. That is to be sacrificed to Aninawo. The eagle is ready. And if you want the eagle, I can give you the eagle today so you can proceed to Aninawo and sacrifice the eagle. I will talk. But before I talk, there must be a third party. Without a third party, I will not open my mouth. Okay, Kaku, why are you making reference to a third party? I don't need any third party. This is supposed to be a private discussion between you and the king. Why are you talking about a third party? I need a third party. How dare you? Who called you? How dare you budging on me like this? Now you get out. Get out! Hold on. Just hold on and listen to what I have to say. He entered here by the powers of the gods, not by his powers. He entered here just to be the third party. We do not need the ego anymore. Because the men we sent for that search have passed the evil kingdom of Abunde. We need a bigger sacrifice. Bigger sacrifice. What do you mean by bigger sacrifice, okay, Kako? You must return the stolen mandate. The kingship of an Anaoko kingdom must return to where it should be. We will be there then. I hate that brat. I hate him so much. If care is not taken, I am going to personally assassinate him and wait for the gods. Ah. Ah. We are now in Amasino. We will find a place to rest. Tomorrow, we will go in search of the sons of Musu. The man is always the man. Rainmakers are peacemakers. Water has no enemy. The man is always the man. Look, we have had enough troubles already. Can you please permit us to continue this journey in peace? Please, I beg you, let us go. The people that killed the Aren Mecca has killed the Aren. The same people that ruined the stream returned early in the morning to drink from the same stream. 
He sounded like, like someone who is familiar with Nako. No! If he was familiar with Nako, he wouldn't have disappeared. He would have waited to guide us. Not my father. The former that did not show his face was also the real maker of Nankwa. Oke Kako, the son of Oke Kako, had already told him how the story demanded. The authentic king of Nankwa is here in Omasienu. Install the right man, and the reign of riches shall return to Nankwa. That was my father. Yes. Who's, who's the father? That was my father. Who's the father? <sighs> you know, now that I have seen my father, I don't know, but somehow. I feel strong again. Yes. You better woo. I'm Andy. I go here. I'm here. Or better. We rest today. Tomorrow, we will surely locate the sons of Wosu. Follow me. Do not kill a man that said nothing. I'm sorry, the revered goddess of Nanko. But I am not planning to kill anybody. What do you have in your hand? You have cola knot in your hand. You have already called the name of your husband into the cola knot. And you are moving towards the shrine of Nanko to throw the cola knot into it. You are automatically asking the gods to judge your husband. I came to ask you why. It was revealed to me that my husband is messing with a girl in one of the bushes leading to Omasienu. It was also revealed to my daughter. She saw an angry mob of women he cheated, chasing him. I want to go and end it now. Why will he cheat on me? It has been revealed to him equally. How you have been sleeping with Odera. When must a woman of Nanko destroy the fabrics of our cultural heritage? By opening up to a man who is not her husband. Me. Hey, God forbid. Me sleep with the king. I have never slept with any man that is not my husband. <laughs> manipulation. Forces that are mightier than you are manipulating you. The reason is to prevent you from seeing what is coming to you. Say no to these enemies of yours and live to be happy. Uh, um, please, Goddess of Nanko, are you saying that my husband has been faithful all those days he traveled? Throw the collar knot. Your husband is too principled for the kind of unfounded revolution that you are having. Go back and do realize that you are destined to be part of the future of Nangwa. Do not kill a man that said nothing.
Chiwendo. That's the name of my wife. She's the wife of my youth. The mother of my lovely daughter. She remains one of the best women that ever lived in Nagua. She's my future. Which makes it very impossible for me to kill her. I don't know why we're standing here. We are meant to continue moving forward until we get the sons of Wosu we seek. Why are we suddenly idling like women? Your father told you that the king of Nakwa is here in Omasenu. Does that mean that one of the sons of Wosu is the authentic king or are you the king? Ibenebu, I do not know anything about the kingship of Nakwa. That is not my problem. My problem is to find the sons of Ngosu, the greatest rainmaker of Nankwa, and bring them back home. That's all. So we keep moving. I have wanted us to discuss this topic better. But now that it has come up again, I want us to trash it. Trash what topic? We had your father when he spoke. We know you are the next king of Nankwa. Promise us that when you are finally the king, you are not going to forget all the sacrifices. We made to that. The, the dangerous road brought us to Asilo. Promise us. Alright, if that will make you happy, fine. But we will trust that when we get to Nangwa. And remember, we still have all the spirits to confront on our way back. So we need all the concentration we can get. Let us move forward. Good. Can we go? Okay. The day is coming in Omasi Enu when you shall see me. Follow me close as you see me, and I shall take you to the man you seek. We must follow this woman. Benibu, are you out of your mind? Huh? We're meant to be going that way. That is our route. How can you say we should abandon our route and start following a woman? No, she's not just a woman. She's a goddess of the stream of Nakwa. And she will take us to the man we seek. I know what I'm talking about. Come. Where's the woman? You caused this. I don't know why you decided to argue with me when I told you let's follow this woman. Uh, but wait, Ibenim. Are you sure that the woman we saw was the goddess of now? You want to doubt me? Listen, I have seen this woman before. And she told me that there would be a day in Umasenu where we shall see her. And once we see her, we shall follow her. She will take us to the men with seeks. I saw this woman. I recognize her. I asked you to follow me, but you refused. You started arguing with me. Now the question is, how do we get to see the men we seek? Yeah, I got to see the men we seek. Yeah, I got to see the men we seek. I must say immediately that this is rude. Maidens of Amatelu should know that Women should genuflate before men. 
Why are you passing as if you didn't see us? Assumption is nothing in the world of mortals, but assumption is a serious offense in the spirit world. So why would men of Nakwa assume that we are made in Sofo Masienu? Is it because we are taking a walk in your Masienu? Okay, 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 okay. You win. Huh? You win. We accept that you are not human. We need your help. We are searching for MNK and Ngozo. The sons of Mosu, the greatest rainmaker of all times. Can you please help us? You were asked to follow. Why didn't you follow? That's exactly what we were talking before you arrived. The goddess of the stream of Nakwa taught me there will be a day in Umasenu where we shall see her. And once we see her, we shall follow her. I saw that. I recognized her. I told my partners, but they refused. They started arguing with me. The, the bottom line is, we have lost the goddess. And you've totally lost the clue. Namco will continue to wallow in poverty yeah. until you do the right thing. Wait, 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 please, wait, don't go. Can you please tell us what the right thing is? Brothers, let us not play the fool for the second time. Can we follow these people? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Why didn't you do what you were asked to do? Please pardon us. We are very sorry. Ibn Abu told us what you instructed. But before we could decide on what to do, you had disappeared. Please pardon us. Help us find the people we seek. When people look in the mirror, they see themselves. The time is coming now when men will look into the mirror and they'll be seeing strange things. Do you want to say strange things? Your promise to me was that you shall lead us to the man we seek. We want to see the man that will heal our land. We don't want to see strange things. Look in the mirror and tell me what you see. I do not know the man. I'm sure he's strange to all of us. Take a look. He lives close to Omasi Lake. He is the one you seek. And I am asking you to leave immediately. Oh, okay, okay. Please, 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 please don't, don't go. Thank you very much. How do we get to Omasi Lake? You will surely see a villager that will take you to Omasi Lake. Do you realize? That the authentic king that was savage now called is there in Omasiyeni. And whatever you do, must have the resemblance. And all the attributes of reality. Please, can you tell us who the king is, so that we can start in time to accord him the respect he deserves? The staff of Aninanko is hanging in the air. When the rainmaking stones gets to Nanko, the storm is going to come down from the air. And then shall you know the game. And you, what is your problem? Can you, can huh? you imagine? What is your problem? Why are you always too forward? What is your business with the next king? Tell me. I want to personally know who the authentic king is. So that I can start in time to accord him the respect he deserves. Right. I want to be part of the men that will change the course of history for the better. Yes. Can you hear this? It has been revealed to him equally how you have been sleeping with Odera. When must a woman of Nanko destroy the fabrics of our cultural heritage? 
by opening up to a man who is not her husband. <laughs> Why do you seek to do this? You are the chief custodian of our cultural traditions and, and values. And, and that is the same reason why consistently I ask you to give me something I know you can give me with ease. Yeah. She yeah. wants to listen to me. As far as this kingdom is concerned, I am the king and I have the final say. Yeah. You sit in judgment to judge those that destroy the fabrics of our cultural heritage. Because I am the king. So why then do you want to destroy the sanctity of our traditional content and values? Why? <laughs> she wonder why are you bringing too many diversions into this very small discussion we are holding this afternoon? Hmm. There's something I want you to understand. I must have you. You must have me. How? How will you have me? Eh? Will you seize me and rape me? How can you open your mouth and say that you, you, you must have another man's wife? In one of my dreams, Chiwendo, I had you. Yes. And you opened this your mouth in that dream and told me that you enjoyed what we did. Fiakwa! I brought to Fiakwa, no male. I brought to Fiakwa. It's not Fiakwa. I want you to oblige me this privilege. Make this decision. And I am going to swear on the throne of Nankwa Kingdom that it is going to be a blissful experience for you. In fact, on that throne I swear again. It is going to remain a secret, top secret, between you and I, mm. until we die. Mm. You know, from now, I will not hold my mouth when I am talking to you. Mm. I will not watch what I say. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I have just noticed that you always swear on the throne of Nanko, even when you are planning abomination. It only means that you do not have value for this throne. Why would you say abomination? This man that is sitting here with you is the king. I am the ultimate decision maker. I am the person that is going to decide what abomination is and what abomination is not. How can you say that I don't know the value of the throne? Whereas I sit on the throne as the king. Hmm. Why would you say that? Hmm. The throne is not yours. The throne is for the people of Namco. And now I have agreed with what they say, that you are an incompetent king. Yes! And for the mere fact that I have arrived at that, at that decision, you are going to leave my compound now. Leave my husband's compound, please. Do you have another visitor? Hmm. Or are, are you talking to me? If you don't leave this compound now, I will get up and shout. Uh, I will scream. Oh. Yeah, well. You want to do what? You want to shout? You don't have respect. Eh? You don't want to go? Okay. Let me. Hold the mic. You want to shout? Because we are we are arranging something that you can you can easily arrange here. Your husband is not in town. We arrange this thing. Hey hey hey! Oh no, we arrange your man. It will happen. I always knew it will happen one day. Kingdoms do not play with their makers. But Obu and your Lord killed the greatest rainmaker of our time. Hey! What a sacrilege. My brother and I will return to Nankwa tomorrow with you to set the once flourishing peaceful kingdom back on the path of peace and prosperity. We decided not to start our families here because we had always known that one day we shall return back to Nankwa, our land. To marry from the maidens of our land. And then we will start our families there.
It shall be well with you, Emenike. You see? On behalf of my partners here, noble and brave men of Nango, I say a big thank you to you for your hospitality. You're welcome. You see? Thank you. Uh, Emenike, I want to make a special request. And that thing is, if there is another route we can follow to get back to Nampo without going to see those hostile demons we met on our way when coming here. If you say this, I will be disappointed in you that you are afraid. Men of Nampo must never be afraid of anything except the gods and the goddesses. We shall use the same road we used to get here. And we shall triumph over all the hostile spirits and demons. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let us not argue on that. Men of Nanko should prepare their minds and ready to make merry. We are not passing through Abunde. We are not passing through Amudele. We are not passing through Itele. We are passing through Agolere. And I can tell you, before the sun set tomorrow, we shall be in Nangwa. Is that ever possible? I mean, we spent six days and six nights on our way to this place. How then do you think we can get to Nangwa before sunset tomorrow? Hmm. We have lived the better part of our lives here, you know, in our know, We know the nooks. We know the crannies. Kings in Nankwa are crowned at night. And tomorrow's night, it will happen. We shall stand before the throne of Nankwa Kingdom. And all our ancestors shall show that even though they are dead, they are not dead. <laughs> Men of Nangwa, eat and make merry. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> um, Moza, share the drinks. Huh? You're welcome. <coughs> You're welcome. They will. <coughs> Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you? Hey, you go with me. Original. This is. This is. Oh, there you go. Listen to me. That you overheard Odera pleading with Chiwendo to oblige him her body is no news. It is not a news at all. The news now is that something mightier than Odera is about to happen. And I tell you, it's very close. Yes! Okay, Kako. Something mightier than Odera the king. I mean, what could that be? Listen, Odera is not a king, so stop calling me a king. The staff of Anangwa is itching to come down. And I tell you, once I succeed in bringing it down, there and then Odera will understand that men that control nations and kingdoms are not men, muscle, but intelligent men. Okay. What happens if you go to bring the staff of Anenangu only to find out that it is no longer where you hit it? You see your problem. When I say that you are not among the strong men of Nanko, you will get angry. The question you just asked now has even proven you not to be qualified to follow even the masquerade of Nanko. Okay, Ka. I told you. I told you. All our days of suffering and barrenness in this village have come to an end. You went up one day, over the Delugo. Hey, 
Has anyone ever told you that King Godera is not the authentic king of Nampo? My mother told me he inherited the kingship from his father. Hmm, that's not in doubt. But the truth is that he used a strange charm to take over from the rightful person. Who is telling you all those nonsense? Mind the kind of things you say in this kingdom. I don't want trouble. You're one of the people that call me drunk in this village. As if I'm drinking with their money. Why did you say that? I'm Oke Kako, the second. Son of Oke Kako, the great, the first Oke Kako. I am bigger than all the men in your family. I beg your pardon? All the problems we've been facing in this village have come to an end. Do you get that? All the wasted years have been buried. Very soon. Very soon, a new king will emerge. A king that fits the throne. And I, the person you call a drunk, I am the one in charge. Eh? I've known it from the very beginning that you are part of the future of Nampo Kingdom. Huh? I want you to prepare your mind, prepare yourself, body and soul for the task ahead. You're going to be my wife. Huh? Who is okay, Kago? To tell me that he's mightier than all the men in my family. If I were you, I'll concentrate more on the important things he said about our kingdom. He proposed to you. Are you ready to marry a drunk? <laughs> I doubt if he's a drunk. Of I now walk in down. Do I stand before you in humility? Okay, Kakun Namo. Do your son is standing before you, seeking for the staff of Arinapo. The rainmaking stone has finally come. Let the staff return. Let the staff return! Let the staff return! Where are you from? 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 Where are When we sent Amadi and his colleagues to Masienu, we gave them specific instruction. Go to Masienu and fetch the sons of Mosu to return to this kingdom with the rain making stone that their father Mosu stole from our land. Why are the sons of Mosu finally standing before me? without the rain-making stone. Why? When an evil man sits as the king, the land must surely pass through trials and tribulations. An evil man sits as the king in Nankwa. And that is why the land is facing the poverty we are facing today. Who 
is the evil man that sits in Nampu as the king? Are you possibly making references to me? Oh, of course, Igwe. He cannot possibly be referring to the Igwe. It's not possible. It's, possible. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, but Igwe, what is on the ground now does not require any violent storm. Hmm. Let us listen to what the son of Umos has to say. Igwe, this Nankwa kingdom has gone through poverty for a long time. Yes. The lack and suffering is too much. It has to end tonight. This meeting is going to continue. But first, everybody here must surrender under my supremacy. I remain the king of Nanfo. And if this meeting must continue, then all of you here must bow down and acknowledge me as the king. Or else, I am going to invoke my powers as the king of this land. You call yourself the king, and I ask you immediately, are you the king of which people? Oba? Can you explain the meaning of this madness? Why are they insulting the king right before the throne? The great ancestors of Nampo had revealed that you, Igodara, is sitting on a throne reserved for another person. We now know that you are not worthy of this throne. And I plead with you to please step down this moment and save now for some troubles. Unbelievable. Extremely unbelievable. You are asking me to step down from the throne, the same throne that I inherited from my father? Your father stole the mandate. And I want you to know this. Falsehood cannot last forever. Tonight, falsehood will end. So I plead with you to do one honorable thing. Step down or be disgraced. King or Dera. Every other deity of now gives way for an now. Any man that cannot put the staff from the ground of an Inawo is the king. Now if you insist you are the king of this kingdom, come out here and put the staff. Are you, are you, are you talking to me? Is he possibly talking to me? Higwe, are you, are you asking me? Nobody in this kingdom is disputing the fact that you are king. Yeah. But you have to prove it to every one of them. And by approaching the staff, go ahead and approach it and continue as king. Yes. You are supporting this? I have no voice here. I have nothing to say. <coughs> and you are supporting this? Your Majesty. It is the general opinion of the people. Hmm. That's my ego. Oh, of course. Continue as the king. I don't know the meaning of this conspiracy. I don't know what you are up to. I don't know what you have planned, but I'm telling you this night that I remain the king of this land. Nothing changes. I remain the custodian of this throne and I shall continue to rule 
as the king here in Nampo. Silence. The stolen crown is nothing but a makeup on the head of the bear. His death marks the end of all the evil in this kingdom. The next king of this kingdom is here with us. Come out and put the staff from the ground of an Hi. Uh, as for me, I am not going to attempt to uproot this staff from the ground. Uh, because simply, I know I am not the king. I am not. <coughs> the throne is definitely not for me. So I won't even give it a trial. Okay. Not at all. Fernandi, your father was right when he appeared to us. You are indeed the king. Go and uproot this staff and save this land from embarrassment. Go. king of this kingdom is here with us. Who is that king that must be crowned tonight? Come out. said, come out, for the throne is waiting. King. Who is that king that must be crowned tonight? The throne is waiting.
Wonderful. <laughs>